Time for some comedy from Just These Please, a sketch group comprising three actor comedians and one lawyer. You may well have seen them online because their sketches have gone completely viral, attracting millions of views, particularly the one they're about to do. Please welcome Just These Please. Hiya. Oh, hi there. What can I get you? Uh, can I just get uh, a cappuccino, please? <laughs> Are you Irish? <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> cool. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Can I take a name for the cup? Aoife, can you handle this? Siobhan, can you handle this? Donal, can you handle this? We, we don't, don't think, think you can, can handle this. this. Whoa! There's a V in Siobhan. Use a V. You've been wrong. There's an M, an M in Neve. And Maven's DHB. But you're gonna have to step it up Me cousin's name is Quiver Even I find that one quite tough Read my lips, starts with C You're thinking doubly Well, it's A-O-I, there's no apostrophe Then it's M-H-E, don't spell phonetically My, my name, name contains, contains seven, seven silent, silent letters. letters I don't think you're ready for this spelling I don't think you're ready for this spelling I don't think you're ready for this spelling My name contains seven silent letters Tom Dixon, Philippa Carson, Georgie Jones and William Seabag Montefiore and they are coming over to join me in the soft seating area. Thank you very much for doing that. This is a phenomenon. Tell me about this, how it built up, particularly with that one. How many views? I think we're talking about something like 22 million views overall. Uh, for Spot your videos. on, yeah, it's 22 nuts. million. <laughs> That's yeah. it. How, what's that like? It's, the beginning is like there's one view, there's two views and then suddenly it's just ratcheting up. Yeah, we got... We got Five million in three days. What? So it was, yeah. And my auntie was keeping a toll on it. <laughs> so she, she texted me like, you're on 100,000, 100,000 and one. And, uh, and then at lunchtime, she'd be like, you're on two million and seven. I can't keep counting. I have to go to work. <laughs> and we can tell that from your accent that you're Irish. I am, yes. Uh, but you don't have a, a, a name that's difficult to pronounce at all, Philippa. <laughs> I know. So where did this come from? Was it just, was it observation? Was it friends? The whole idea? Because it is very funny. Yeah, a few of us, being, uh, being professional actors, have worked in coffee shops, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and, and have had the experience of, of writing down the names, and often they are... Some are more difficult than others. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, it was in a rehearsal. We were just sort of having a little sing, as we often do. And, uh, and it sort of just happened. That's quite the boring story of the, uh, the origination of the song. It doesn't matter how it came uh, about, does it? Yeah. And that must just change things for you in terms of that incredible Oh, exposure. we're so wealthy now. We've you got are. so much money. I yeah, know. we go into shops and go, can we pay with views? <laughs> and they're like, no, of course you can't. But it has, it's got us through, like, it's got us through different doors and it's just really fun. Um, but it's sort of like, now we have to play the hits, so it's in our current yeah. show. It sits in the middle, and we're like, there's one, but here are all the new stuff as well. Are you packing yeah. them out then at the Fringe? With lots of people who've seen them online? I mean, that must make a big difference. Yeah, yeah it's been interesting. Oh, we went to speak at the same time. Go for it, Tom. Oh, thank you very much, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it has made a difference. I think what's been really nice with, with the Fringe show this year has got a little mix of people coming in off the back of the video and... Um, uh, you know, a couple of other videos as well, uh, and then also people who came to see it last year, which has been great. Yeah. Like we love that um, when people sort of come back to the show. That's a great feeling. When they say, you know, oh, we saw it last year. That's that's brilliant. Um, and then just yeah, a bit, a bit of flyering, of course. That still still a big one as well for us. And, yeah. and just sort of trying to get a bit of word of mouth out, really. It's hard to know what the Venn diagram is from people who will comment on YouTube and people who will go outside. So it's quite complicated <laughs> to know. But we have had people come up and been like, I, I subscribe to these guys on YouTube. I'll, I'll go and see them and have brought their parents. We love right. that because there's this uh, shout out to Finn. Uh, who came to see us in Brighton and he brought his parents along who'd never seen us and they really enjoyed the show as well and we really like that that it's like cross-generational well that's the thing about sketch comedy isn't it it's kind of evergreen I think it's it, for a while it was maybe sort of an out of fashion but actually I think people love it because it's that fast turnaround you never know what you're getting next 
Heck of a lot of work for you guys, though, isn't it? Because you, these people, you're really fast in and out of characters and sometimes donning, the, you know, bits of costume and so on. Mm -hmm. Is that fun? Does it get confusing? Do you ever put on the wrong hat or something, literally? Well, we definitely don't have the running order sort of pinned up backstage for reference. Never, ever look at that. <laughs> no, no, um, never look at it. We never even know it's there. It's phenomenal. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really enjoyable, actually, and, and I think we enjoy often just sort of sitting around, messing around with accents and characters and so because we crammed 25 sketches into 55 minutes which means that actually that's just so much fun for us and we get to do all the things we love doing but sort of with people watching yeah. which is really why we got into it in the first place let's be honest well how did you all get together and you say tom you're the lawyer aren't you yeah that's right so yeah. is that useful if you're doing sort of parodic things and you know satirizing particular people you can sort of do the litigation checklist beforehand absolutely i've got our backs if it all goes uh, wrong at any point excellent. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so how did you all get together and why why the name interesting name just these please well, we thought that Just These Please was going to be this like genius guerrilla marketing because everybody says it at the counter, you know. Uh, it's a very polite, nice thing to say. Is that back in the coffee shop, the muffins or yeah, something? Just yeah, These Please? Just These okay. Please. Or, at, you know, in your Tesco, and it's a completely superfluous but lovely thing to say, which is kind of, you know, Yeah, us. silly and polite <laughs> is sort of the idea. And, we, yeah, we thought people would be like, oh, we say that all the time, but they're like, oh, how's only those thanks going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, Mum, you're so close. <laughs> Love it.